a young woman went to her mother and told her about her life. Things were really hard. It, she had a lot of obstacles. She was ready to give up. She didn't know how she was going to make it, and, and it was about done. She was tired of the fighting and the struggling. It seemed as as one problem was solved, a new one arose. Can you empathize with this young woman? Sound like anybody else's life you know right now? So her mother took her to the kitchen. She filled three pots with water and placed each one on fire, put some heat to it. Soon the pots came to a boil. In the first pot, she placed carrots. In the second pot, she placed eggs. In the third pot, she placed ground up coffee beans. She let them all sit in the water, boil, and it was absolute silence. She didn't want her words to take away from the imagery of the point she was making. In about 20 minutes, she turned off all three burners. One at a time, she dealt with each item. She fished the carrots out and placed them in a bowl. She pulled the eggs out, placed them in a bowl. She then ladled the coffee and put it into a nice, big coffee cup. Turning to her daughter, she asked, Tell me, daughter, what do you see? A little flippantly, the daughter replied, Why, carrots, eggs, and coffee. Her mother brought her closer and said, Let's go a little deeper. She said, I want you to feel the carrots. Pick them up. She did. And she noted that they were soft. The mother then asked the daughter to take out an egg and notice how hard it was and shake it a little bit and notice it's solid all the way through. Now she said, break it and peel off the shell. And as she pulled off the shell, she observed the hard boiled egg underneath and held it in her hand. Finally, the mother asked the daughter to take a sip of the coffee. The daughter slowly put the coffee cup up to her mouth, and as she was, she noticed the fine aroma, and she took a sip. And with that, the daughter looked with puzzle on her eyes and her face and queried about her mother. Mom, what, what does this, all this mean? I came in here telling you about my problems, and you're cooking me a f meal. The mother laughed and said, let me explain. And she said that each of these objects had faced adversity. They'd been in the fire. The adversity was boiling water. And she wanted her daughter to note how each reacted differently to the same boiling water to the same adversity. She noted the carrot was strong, hard, unrelenting before it experienced the adversity. She noted, however, after being subject to the boiling water, it softened, it became weak. See, the egg had been fragile. Its thin outer shell had protected its liquid interior. If she were to drop that egg, or hit that egg on anything before putting it in the water, it would have bust open all over the place, pouring out. But after sitting through the boiling water, it became hardened. Now the ground coffee beans were unique, however. See, after they were in the boiling water, something different happened. Instead of the coffee beans being changed, they had changed the water. They had changed their environment. And with that, she looked at her daughter and posed the simple question, which are you, daughter? When adversity knocks on your door, how do you respond? Are you a carrot, an egg, or are you some good coffee beans? And ladies and gentlemen, as you listen to this right now, you should pose the question to yourself, which are you? Are you the carrot that seems strong, but with the pain that's been going on last year plus, 
the adversity of the pandemic and our weird political environment today? Do you wilt and become soft and lose your strength? Or are you the egg that started with a malleable heart but changed with the pressure, with the heat? Did you have a fluid spirit but after lockdown, after losing your home or losing a business or maybe after a death or a breakup, maybe a financial hardship or some other trial? Have you become hard and stiff? Does your shell look the same on the outside but on the inside? Become bitter and tough with a stiff spirit, a hardened heart. And I'm going to suggest that what we all need to be is more like the coffee bean. See, the bean actually changes the hot water. The very circumstances that brings the pain, when the water gets hot, it releases the fragrance, the flavor, the odor of the coffee. If you're like a bean, when things are at their worst and get better, you change the situation around you. When the hour is the darkest and the trials are the greatest, do you elevate yourself to another level? How do you handle adversity? Are you a carrot, an egg, or a coffee bean? And I'm gonna suggest to you today, the happiest of people don't necessarily have the best of everything. They just make the most of everything that comes along the way. The brightest future will always be based on a well-processed past.